In trying times, young players look to the experienced heads for comforting words and advice. The senior leadership group, as well as others like James Podsy Adley, are the guys that fill that role. Even though he's been missing from the senior side, Pods is passing on his knowledge to the next generation while playing in the State League. It's nothing that's really formal or, um, or a formal mentoring role. It's just that um, I'm, really, I'm really keen to pass on some of my knowledge that I've learned over the last sort of 15, 16 years onto him. And um, we've got a fantastic young group that um, are willing to sort of absorb some of that feedback, which is great. Over the last couple of years, the, the recruiting staff have done a fantastic job in getting young talent into the club. Um, and you know, being able to see those guys develop over the last six to 18 months has been fantastic for my end. So look, I enjoy just um, playing footy with those guys. They're so um, enthusiastic and willing to learn and uh, they absorb everything. So we've got a great group and um, from my perspective, um, I just love watching them play. Archie is going to fly in the middle of the pack, but strong hands. The J-Pod had a good game today. Potsy Adelik showed his class and his experience. Yeah, my form's been, uh, I feel pretty comfortable where it's at. And so. Um, from, from that perspective, I've still enjoyed the year. I mean, um, yeah, every day you play and train at, at a football club, um, you've got to enjoy it or else it's, uh, you won't be passionate about it and you're not going to get any better. So I'm still enjoying it. Bangs it long in hope. Potty Adley! Vintage Pods. I'll be ready to, to, uh, to play whenever I get the opportunity. Um, it's just about seeing what happens from then on in. So, like I said, I've, uh, I've really enjoyed the, the year so far and I suppose built a great foundation. Um, but I do enjoy working with the younger guys as well, so um, who knows what can happen. Right now, the club is drawing on the experience and culture that it has forged over its first 25 years. Many triumphs have helped mould the Crows and its people. The 1997 semi-final win over Geelong at Football Park is high on the list of great achievements. Let's now delve into the archives thanks to our major sponsor, Toyota. There was a fair bit at stake and I guess we are playing at home so the expectation was really high. Um, and obviously playing against a, a good side in Geelong who I think finished second in the minor premiership that year. I guess it was the, um, the old final system but I did, they finished second, we were finished lower down and uh, um, they had to come across here to play us in that, uh, that semi-final so they were probably a little bit unlucky with the way the final system back then was shaped. Eventually it's Johnson who slips clear towards Robbery. Takes the mark at half forward, the big man. And he'll look down the ground, down towards Modra. Bang, he lets one go. He lets one go. What a beauty. It's probably my favourite goal that I've kicked in my career. Um, I think it was in the second quarter. And was. I've always, always enjoyed kicking a barrel um, and the great thing about Blighty was he always encouraged you to do stuff like that. Um, his mantra was you try it once, if it works you keep going, once it doesn't work you, you shelve it for the game. Good long kick, down towards full forward. Oh, oh courageous man. Mark Colbert with the flight of the footy oh. and umpire Vernon isn't going to pay it. And one can only think that the umpire was, uh, well you must have been blinded. <laughs> Yep, the umpire got it badly wrong there. If it wasn't paid a mark, it was desperately unlucky because it was a very courageous act. And yeah, had he have slotted the goal, it uh, would have put him a couple of goals up. And they certainly had the momentum at that time of the game. From 52 metres, it's a lovely kick from Bob. That's it. Good night, Nurse. The Crows are there. Gee, the crowd played a huge part that night. The, the noise of the 45,000 people at Amy that were there and supporting us was just deafening. Um, so they were a massive part of the reason that we were able to uh, regain the momentum late in the game and, and ultimately run away with a, a couple of goal win. Now is the time when Farmers Union Ice Coffee asks fans to have your say. We wanted to know who is the best player in the competition and why. Maybe Nat Fife. Oh, she's getting a lot of possessions and disposals. Probably Buddy. Uh, I mean, it's pretty. Eddie Betts is, is doing well. Uh, it's, it's a pretty even comp this year. Uh, yeah, five, yeah. He's really hot and fast and quick and all the rest of it, yeah. Eddie Betts. What's that? Uh, fast, dynamic, kicking plenty of goals at the moment. Dangerfield. What's that? He gets lots of the ball and uses the ball well. Uh, it'd have to be uh, Nat Fife. Well, these results show for themselves, so... Eddie Betts, because he kicks good goals. I have to go with Eddie Betts as well. I mean, I don't watch him any other teams, but, you know, it's just... It's, Eddie's a star in my heart. Net Fife. What's that? Because he's a gun. Fife's probably got it, but... What's that? I don't know, he just gets so much of the ball and he uses it so well. Uh, maybe Sloane for now. Yeah. Gonna go for Sloane. 
He's just a good player. Still probably Nat 5, I reckon. Oh, he's just, I reckon he's unstoppable. He's got a big body and he's just, he'll, he'll go to Brownlow this year. Eddie. Got to be Eddie. Because he's so great and he plays for the Crows. There's more to come on the Crows show. After the break, we take you behind the scenes as players soothe their battered bodies.